Hi, welcome. I'm going to make a video about Arch Linux and Budgie. I've been trying to make it uh, in the past and there is always something that goes wrong. So here we go again. I have this virtual box system. When you go to articlelinuxd.com, you'll see that there's a phase um, five to get to Arch Linux. So forget about Arch Linux and first use it to install Arch Linux. And later, if you like, you can add the spices from Arco to Arch. So we have this Arch Linux phase three. You see that in the on the website ArchLinuxD.com, installation of Arch is done in phases: phase one, phase four, uh, two, phase three. In this case, there's already LightEM available. There's no desktop at this point in time. I opened this one, did sudo pacman-syyu, updated it uh, 12 gigabytes, and then I made a copy. So I do a clone then, and then I have a phase four budgie. So this one needs to be started on this screen rather. Control F is back to the other screen. Let's see if I can get them to stay here. There, stay there. So, like I said, LightDM is installed, but there's no desktop behind it, meaning you can't click anything here. And the tip is here is look at your keyboard, the right control, and then F2 is going to put you in a sort of um, TTY, as we used to Control Alt F1, F2, or 3 or 4 or 5 with Control Alt in VirtualBox, it's the right control on your keyboard and on F2, F3, etc. So logging in, everything is installed except my uh, budgie desktop. So sudo pacman minus s budgie. And you see this; these are the things we could install. And let's um, quickly go for the wiki. So close other tabs. And then Arch Wiki Budgie. Always follow what the Arch says, right? So we need to install Budgie Desktop or we can install Budgie Desktop Kit. And we need to install GNOME. And we found something that's not in here. And it's called Extra. So we can install that as well if you'd like. So Budgie's Extra is there as well. So it's not on the wiki, but it's in here. Budgie, desktop, and you know, let's install those two since that's uh, what they ask us to do. Let's see if we did not miss it. Control find extra. Nope, there's no word concerning the word extra. So, the question is, what is this budgie extra? Okay, let's have a look. Budgie extra. What's in here? Additional budget desktop enhanced for the user experience. Okay. Uh huh. Image med. Okay. Python stuff. Mm hmm. XDO tool. Yeah. Zenity. Okay. Whoa. Full list maybe. Ah, oh, that's all the elements. So this is enough to know. At this point in time, I should, should say no. Not interested. This one isn't, I'm good for this one. Um, don't think I'll be needing it this one, but I know it, Ninja Val. Okay, no, the only one I really say, okay, this one is an interesting one because of, uh, well, uh, handling of images, that's what it does. So we're going to install Budgie, Desktop, and GNOME, and take a look at it. So it's actually not that difficult. Um, the only thing you need to follow through is our Arch Wiki, and if you're stuck, then you need to well, start reading, right? So it's not a lot of information in here. Uh, one of the, well, smallest pages, I think, written ever for a desktop environment. But it's actually on Solus. So if you like Budgie, then maybe it's a good thing that you move to that Solus operating system here, written from scratch, okay? So that's where the source is and where all the developments are of course okay let's see so sudo reboot this time there is something behind our light dm display or login manager and there is something here 
you only need to select the good one since we installed both of them budgie can't really live without gnome just install budgie without gnome and you'll see that i'm i'm, I'm right about that it has so little um, configuration and specification and uh, settings elements you need to have the gnome for that so there you go finally i have a successful installation of budgie we can restart hibernate here we have some elements here this one as well style you we can go and uh, install some different things here icons there are not a lot of icons this is a clean arch linux installation everything needs to be done still right but that's the fun in it you can start learning in arch linux manjaro on it doesn't matter arch based stuff and then at some point decide okay now i get it i know how to build all these lego blocks together so i can have a operating system that i totally control totally uh, set to my own liking and that's basically what it is that's arch linux for you all right so that's it for me guys here you have already something that i don't like when something like that happens f5 doesn't do anything i can't refresh or anything this is the video guys i'm stopping here cheers